Hi, this is Leo Randy Lessons about how to use OpenGL in Java and uh, this is lesson number 15 and here I will show you how to use architectural modeling and uh, how to achieve fast execution in uh, created uh, 4D engine. Uh, so uh, in the previous lesson I showed you how to uh, use uh, uh, 3D Studio Max and how to export a model from it and we successfully uploaded uh, uh, this model to my created uh, 4D engine. Uh, so let's see how it works. Uh, you see that uh, we can rotate this car, so this is a Porsche. Uh, we can rotate this Porsche along uh, axis is x y and z so we can zoom inside it we can zoom outside it and so on um, i will show you now how many vertexes uh, do we have because i created uh, a java code uh, piece so summary and uh, it shows uh, uh, summary statistics about uh, each object and the total statistics about how many vertexes and faces do we have. Uh, so for this uh, Porsche we have uh, uh, 32,000 uh, of faces. Now this is a really big uh, value. And you see uh, the speed of execution. Okay. So you see that I created really fast engine uh, and uh, now I uh, want uh, to show you how to use more complex scenes, how to use more complex uh, objects. Uh, let's close this application. Now I will show you uh, 3ds Studio Max and here for example I created a kitchen, uh, we can rotate it along axis Z. We can zoom inside it, you see uh, uh, what is the value of speed. Okay, oh my god, why it is slow. I'm trying to rotate in, it's in a 3ds Studio Max. You see this, is this kitchen here, how slowly it rotates. So after that I need to upload this uh, 3D object into my created engine. Uh, so I will uh, use 3ds format for which uh, uh, I exported object and uh, now I will open app Java uh, file. And here, uh, in a, a method get file name, I will use a kitchen 3ds uh, instead of Porsche 3ds. So uh, also I created a debugger, a logger. Uh, so you see, uh, you will see how application works. First of all, we start. Uh, there's a main method up of a main. And now our model is loading. Uh, so kitchen uh, has a lot of vertexes, a lot of faces. That is why uh, now um, it takes a time to load the whole model into this 4D engine. So you know how in games this progress bar runs from left to the right side and we need sometimes to wait because we need to pass this and load to our operational memory. So okay, you see now that this kitchen uh, has been successfully loaded into my own created 4D engine and we can uh, rotate it along axes. Yeah, uh, we can rotate it now this way, this way, and this way. And uh, the most important thing here is that how many faces do we have? Uh, so I will show you this big number. Let's close this and show uh, open statistics. 
you see that the total number of faces is about one million and about a uh, half of million of vertexes of points so this is a really really big number uh, and you see that we have about uh, let me show you we have about uh, uh, 700 uh, objects uh, and total number of faces is uh, 1 million it's a really really big number and uh, this uh, model uh, uh, is loading uh, into the this 4D engine and the 4D engine is so quite quite fast that it can draw and rotate it uh, very uh, rapidly. Uh, you see uh, a delay in the 3D Studio Max. Yeah, when we are rotating along Z axis or X axis does not matter really or both of them and you s and I will show you the speed of rotating in this created 4D engine yeah it is really faster <laughs> Okay, thank you for watching this video, uh, you can visit uh, my uh, website www.learandy.com and my Facebook group, uh, facebook.com slash group slash learandy. Also, you can write me emails or ask me questions on Facebook. Uh, so, um, thanks for watching this video.